you have a large file stuck on your phone with no idea how to send it? Then check out my top tips on sending large files from your iPhone. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the Photo Organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that little bell to be notified every time I release a new video. We use our phones all the time nowadays for recording our lives, that sometimes those files can get a little bit large, so they can be a pain to send and suck up precious storage space on our phones. So in this video, I'm going to talk you through your options to getting those large files off your iPhone. Option 1. Airdrop. Airdrop is a great option. But obviously, the receiving device has to be another Apple device. Firstly, make sure the device you are sending to is close by and powered up and set to accept AirDrop files. To check that on a phone, go to Settings, then General, and then AirDrop, and then tap either Contacts Only or Everyone. On a Mac, open the AirDrop folder in Finder and select Allow Me to be Discovered by either Contacts Only or Everyone. Once you've done that, open your phone where you're sending the file from in the Photos app. Under Media Types, select Videos and tap the video you want to send. Select the Shared icon at the bottom and select the AirDrop icon. After a few seconds, you should see the list of available devices. If you don't see the device you want to send your video to, wait a moment for the list to refresh automatically or tap the airdrop icon. Select the correct device and then the transfer will automatically start. Depending on the size of the file, it can take some time to send, but be patient and avoid moving the devices too far away from each other. You'll know the video has arrived when it appears in the Photos app on the receiving iOS device or within downloads in the Mac OS. AirDrop is usually pretty stable, but if you try to send too many large files at one time, then it will often fail. So it's best to just do one large file at a time. Option two, using iCloud with email. If you have an iPhone, you are likely to also have an iCloud and an email account. The email attachment limits are 20 megabytes. But with MailDrop, you can send attachments up to five gigabytes on Apple Mail via a direct email link. Then after the link is shared, the recipient has 30 days to download the file. But keep in mind, if your video is over 100 megabytes, you will have to connect to Wi-Fi for MailDrop to work. Even if the clip is already backed up to your iCloud account, MailDrop won't allow you to send an attachment through your phone data alone. To send the file, open up the Photos app and tap the video you want to share. Then select the share icon at the bottom and choose mail. You'll be taken to a draft mail with your attachment automatically added to the message. Add who it's going to and a subject and then write any message as you normally would and then select send. It will then notice that your attachment is too large to send and give you the option of mail drop. So choose to use mail drop and your message will automatically start sending. If your video attachment is not already backed up to the cloud, it will start to transfer it in the background. So make sure that you have enough space for it to be backed up. Your email will send after the upload is complete. Magic. Option three, sharing an iCloud link. In Apple Photos, you can create an iCloud link that you can then use to share large video files. You can then also send multiple texts via text if you want. But obviously, your files will need to be loaded into the cloud first, so you need to have enough space for it. First, select the videos that you want to share and go to the share icon at the bottom. Then you need to copy the iCloud link. Then you can just paste the link into an email or a text message and send it. It is best, like all of these options, to do when your phone is powered up and on a Wi-Fi connection. Option four, using other cloud storage. Although iCloud is generally useful for backing up your iPhone files, if you want to give multiple people access 
on an ongoing basis, it's not going to work. So you can share your files in a central hub on a different cloud storage service, like Dropbox or Microsoft OneDrive or Google Drive, where you can give them access to one folder that you keep sharing files to. First, select the videos to share and then go to the share icon at the bottom and select the service that you want to share it to. You will need to already have loaded up that service app onto your phone and logged in. Then you just need to pick the correct folder and transfer the files. Done. So there you have it, how to send large video files from your iPhone. Do you know any other ways to send large video files from your iPhone? Then leave them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.